Whenever modern fighter jets are compared, the conversation quickly turns emotional because national pride likes to fly in formation with facts. The Saab Gripen often gets called underrated or overrated depending on who is speaking, which usually tells you more about the speaker than the aircraft. Gripen was designed by Sweden for a very specific idea, fight, smart fight, networked and fight cheap, without being fragile. It is a lightweight multirole jet with excellent situational awareness, strong electronic warfare, and the ability to operate from short rough runways, which is very Swedish behavior. For a long time, critics mocked Gripen for having no combat record. That criticism recently lost some of its bite because Thai Gripens were used operationally during a border conflict, marking the first real combat employment of the jet. It was not a cinematic dogfight with contrails twisting in the sky, but real missions with real risk. Still, there are no confirmed air-to-air -air kills and no classic dogfight stories. Gripen experience is therefore real, but limited and honest analysts should say that clearly. Now compare it with the Tejas. Tejas is India's indigenous light fighter and it represents something bigger than performance charts. It represents industrial independence, learning curves, and long-term ambition. Technically, Tejas is agile modern, and increasingly well-equipped, especially in its newer variants. However, it has not yet seen real combat. No border clashes, no air policing, intercepts turning into shooting wars. That does not make it weak, it just means its reputation is still built on testing exercises and simulations rather than battlefield stress. Tejas is promising, but unproven in war. Then there is the JF-17 Thunder, particularly the latest block. This jet has something the other two largely lack claimed combat exposure. Pakistan has used earlier versions in real operations mostly air-to-ground and deterrence roles. Air-to-air -air claims exist, but are contested and politically noisy. Still, from a purely historical view, JF-17 has lived closer to conflict than the others. It is built to be affordable, flexible, and good enough rather than perfect, and that philosophy shows in its design. In pure capability, terms Gripen generally sits on top of this trio. Its sensor fusion day, the Lynx electronic warfare and Western weapon compatibility, give it an edge especially beyond visual range. Gripen pilots often joke that the jet does half the thinking for them, which is funny until you realize that is exactly what modern air combat demands. Tejas is catching up fast with strong radars and missiles of its own, but it is still growing into that role. JF-17 has improved avionics and long-range missiles yet its overall ecosystem is usually seen as less refined than Gripen's. So, is Gripen overrated or underrated? The honest answer is neither. It is accurately rated by professionals and emotionally rated by internet comment sections. Gripen is not a miracle jet, and it will not magically defeat everything in the sky. At the same time, it is far more capable than its size and price suggest. Against Tejas or JF-17, the outcome would depend heavily on pilots, support, assets, and tactics, not just the jet. Anyone claiming guaranteed victories is selling drama, not defense analysis. The real story is that all three jets exist for different national needs. Gripen is a smart, networked defender. Tejas is a growing symbol of self-reliance. JF-17 is a pragmatic workhorse built for constant readiness. Comparing them is useful, arguing about them endlessly is not. And if one day they ever meet in a real dogfight, hopefully, it stays in history books and not breaking news because that would mean something else went very wrong. It is also worth remembering that air combat today is rarely about turning circles and pulling high angles alone. Information dominance, electronic attack teamwork, and decision speed decide outcomes more than raw aerodynamics. Gripen was designed exactly for that environment, which explains its strong reputation among pilots who value brains as much as brawn. Tejas and JF-17 are moving the same direction at different speeds, proving that modern fighters are systems, not solo gladiators anymore. Marketing hype fades, but doctrine training logistics and calm leadership win wars quietly every time.